Hello and welcome to Bounding Into Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounding Into Comics. Today I got a story about the WandaVision Luke Skywalker hype appearing to be a lie as Paul Bettany recently confessed on the Good Morning America show. But before we get to that, back in January, Bettany appeared on the Light Camera Barstool podcast to promote Va WandaVision. While promoting the show, he teased... So many things get leaked, but there's this thing that has been completely under wrap that happens. I work with this actor that I've always wanted to work with, and we have fireworks together. The scenes are great, and I think people are going to be really excited. I've always wanted to work with this guy, and the scenes are pretty intense. Later in the podcast, ben Bettany would talk about the conclusion of WandaVision, saying, I think they're going to be massively surprised by the end of the show. He added, I really think people are going to be like, oh my god. And they're going to look at the MCU in a whole new light and also have a much deeper understanding in what direction it's moving. The hype train would not stop there with Bettany. A few days late later, Elizabeth Olsen would do an interview with TV Line. Olsen would be asked if WandaVision would have a cameo similar to Luke Skywalker's appearance in The Mandalorian. She simply responded, yes. She went on to add with a laugh, quote, I'm really excited for viewers to see what or who is coming. However, as the show is about to release its season finale episode on Friday, March 5th, actor Paul Bettany is coming clean about the marketing hype he engaged in. As I mentioned, he spoke with Good Morning America, and he was asked about his comments on the Lights, Camera, Barstool podcast, and whether or not the actual cameo he teased was the reveal of the White Vision in WandaVision's eighth episode. Bettany said, Yeah, yeah, you know when you think something's gonna be funny and you say it and then you actually panic about it, which is what I did because fans started guessing who it might be and they were guessing people like Benedict Cumberbatch or Patrick Stewart and I was thinking, my God, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to be so disappointed when they find out it's me. However, Good Morning America's Michael Strahan wasn't buying the line that Bettany was selling and asked him, but we are not sure though. You could be trolling us right now. So is there a big appearance by someone? Bettany responded. Well, you know, I'd love to answer that question, <laughs> but my, uh, my service keeps click. Not only did Bettany seemingly walk back his previous hype about a cameo, but the show's director also recently told fans they might be disappointed by the show's finale. Speaking with fandom, director Matt Shackman said, quote, I love seeing memes and TikTok videos and theories. They're so creative and wonderful. And of course, some people will be disappointed that certain theories don't end up coming to be true or true in the course of WandaVision. But we pass them around. Please know the cast and crew. We love sharing them. It's nice to know that your work that your work is being received like that. So we've kind of heard all of this stuff before, not with WandaVision, but probably most famously with Game of Thrones. And we all know how that turned out. It was a complete and utter disaster. That's not to say that's going to be the case with WandaVision, but they definitely seem to be trying to uh, lower the expectations about that season finale, saying that some fans are going to be disappointed that the cameo was actually that cameo from the eighth episode and he was just talking about himself uh, and that this last episode <laughs> might not be as important as what they had previously made it out to be. But I wanna know what you think. What do you make of this new revelation from Paul Bettany and Matt Shackman's warning about being disappointed? Do you think WandaVision is going to have this Luke Skywalker level cameo as they previously hinted at? Or was it all fake hype to get people to check the show out? Let me know in the comments below. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounding Into Comics.